And we're back with more of the Pobon film. Well, Bun Francisco, Los Bungeles, <laughs> Bun Cremento. This week we're going to play a fun game. And by fun, I mean maddening and absolutely impossible. This is what I'm going to do. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to say the real name of a famous person. And you will have to name this person's more well-known stage name. Okay. So I'm going to say the famous person's real name, and you have to guess the name of the famous person. In the off chance that you can't cut it, I will provide a bit of a handy clue for you. I've actually come up with some really good handy clues. So you're going to say the name, and I'm going to come up with what again? Um, uh, there's a lot of famous people whose uh, name is actually fake. Oh, okay. Okay. So I will be saying Drake. the famous person's real name. Yeah, like Drake. No, that Aubrey. what what's what's Drake's real name? Aubrey? Yeah. Drake's real name is Aubrey? See, I yeah. don't even know who Drake is and I always forget yeah. people's real names. I'll be I'll be good at saying, okay, that's a fake name, that's a fake name, that's a fake name. I, I bet you I'll be really good at that. But I'm not gonna yeah. be able to come up with in most cases what like, I love Alice Cooper. I keep forgetting his freaking real name. Uh, is he on here? No, he is not on here. I have 16 famous people's real names, and you will have to guess who the famous person is that I'm talking about. But I think. Oh, oh be good it's at the this. real names. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I'll be saying the real names, and you have to guess the famous name that they're known as. Okay, that's a little easier. Okay. Yeah. And also, I've come up with really good clues to help you. Oh, no, they yeah. are. They're really good. So I came up with clues, and I'm really proud of the clues. So I have 16 real names of famous people, and you have to guess the name of the famous person. They're more well-known stage name. Okay. So let's start with number one. This is, of course, the name I had to start with. Uh, number one, Gordon M. Sumner. Sting. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Or should I say Gordon M. Sumner? <laughs> yes, he's he's a B a, he's a B culture appropriating singer. Yes. He just, Sting is just a prance about stage name. <laughs> I've been saying that over and over again ever since we did B movie on the podcast. Is is he still alive? Yes. Sting? Yes. Man. Yes, he is still. Can, can we trade him for Lemmy? I, I, I'm really feeling that these days we, we're going to be needing a lot of Lemmy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or should I say Gordon M. Sumner? Yeah. So here's number two. Um, this is a tricky one. Steve Borden. Steve Borden. Yeah, now, Steve Borden. They're not all musical, are they? No, no, no. Okay. I've got some uh, musicians. I've got some sports people. I've got some actors. I've got three wrestlers. Okay. So Steve Borden, here is the clue. Okay. He's a face-painted crow wannabe wrestler. Okay, okay. If want, okay. If you okay, want another okay. clue, Sting! Okay. <laughs> exactly. Also Sting. See what I did there? I put the two stings right up at the front. Yes, but I'm high, so so, yeah. so when you said face painted, for some reason my mind went right to uh the insane clown posse. Ah, uh, gotcha. And, and then, and I, then I had a hard a, I had a hard time coming to coming around to Sting. Yeah. Yeah, Steve I saw Borden. him. I saw him in my head for a few seconds before I can come up with what his name was. <laughs> yeah. So this is number three, and this one actually is the is the one that that gave me the idea to do this in the first place. Okay. Uh, 
Ferdinand Alcindor Jr. Ferdinand Alcindor Jr. Here is a hint. Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on. Okay. Uh. Ferdinand oh, Alcindor yes. Jr. I'm 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 going for um. Oh, sh- Hold hold on hold on it's, it's Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Exactly, you nailed that one, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Good job. I kept wanting the to say Doctor J for some reason, and my sports yeah. of the shit, my sports yeah. knowledge. <laughs> so far, you're three for three. Just to let you know, my clue was he's a seven foot two inch athlete, Muslim, and co pilot. <laughs> that would have done it. Yeah, I figured the co-pilot would have done it for you. So here's number four. And I figured if any one of these you were definite to get, it would be this one. Uh, Number four, Nick Coppola. Oh, Nick Cage. There you go, Nick Cage. Bear suit wearing, woman puncher, Nicholas Cage. Yes. You know where he got his last name from? Uh, Luke Cage. Luke Cage, exactly, his favorite comic book, which is now a uh, Netflix series. So you're four for four. You're doing very good. I hear Defenders uh, comes out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm still so far behind in all of those shows. See, I'm after, still so far behind. After Luke Cage almost made me swear off of Marvel shows. Really? I, I, I hear that from people, but usually it's surrounding uh, the Ayn Rand superhero known as Iron Fist. Um, Luke Cage... Oh, Iron Fist really kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's different. But Luke Cage just hit... It's a good show, okay? It's a really good show, and it's an important show, okay? But yeah. it kind of maxed out my tolerance for dark and gritty you know what i mean like like i am yeah like man these are all so depressing daredevil is depressing i I, i'm still a fan of the walking dead so i was really getting in in luke cage pushed me to where i was like okay fuck punisher when it comes out you know game of thrones i'm not interested in it you know i'm just tired of the dark and gritty and depressing you know well you know what bunny i wouldn't worry about it because i'm pretty sure that it that that the netflix marvel universe is going to get a lot (laughs) cheerier with the funny romantic comedy the punisher the punisher yeah Yeah, that's that's supposed to be hilarious. But but I'm a mark for Marvel, so that's it. If Luke yeah. Cage um, so I'm looking forward to the Defenders, I'm hoping. Uh Iron Fist sucked. Uh Luke Cage, when they put that back on, I'm gonna watch it again. You know? Yeah. I'm just I'm just a sucker for Marvel. Uh number five, Walter Willis. Walter Willis. Yes. Now, if you have a hard time, of course, I have clues. Really uh, uh, well-written-out clues. I'll take a clue on this one. Okay. Um, Walter Willis, yippee ki I'm a douchebag. <laughs> Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, yes, very good. Very good. I'm really proud of the clues that I have come up with in this game. Uh, let's move on to number six, Terry G. Bolea. That's Hulk Hogan. Exactly. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. Um, number seven, Love Michelle Harrison. I think I'll go Courtney Love on that one. Yes, yes, very good. That very was good. a that was a guess. Yeah. Yeah, I the clue for that one was hello, I'm a singer and I killed Kurt. <laughs> uh, who gives their kid the first name Love? Like you already fucked her up. You already put this girl down a difficult road. Yeah. You know? 
when you give when you give your daughter the first name love hi maxwell um okay the, now we're moving on to number eight michael douglas this is a difficult one that's a difficult one i've got a good clue now a lot of i i played this with a couple of people and a lot of people got tripped up here with michael douglas right so then when i gave when they asked for a clue and i gave them the clue nobody had any idea what the clue meant or what it was from but then i told them i'm pretty sure bunny would figure out the clue oh okay but this clue might not be for you commoners but I'm pretty sure Bonnie would instantly be like, "Yes, I know." I mean, the, the, I mean, and there was even Mike Douglas who was the TV host, but that would hardly yeah. count. Yep. Nope. <laughs> you know, yep. Mike and Michael is hardly changing <laughs> your name. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, what's uh, what's the clue? The clue is, "Who are you?" I'm Michael Douglas. That's the clue. Christian Bale? Or Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Very good. Michael Keaton. You, you, did, Michael- the, you did the really gruff voice. That's what made me go to Christian Bale. Yeah, yeah. But then I, I tried to do a really good, that guy on the roof. Who are you? Which that, yeah. that's, that is what brought me to Michael Keaton. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number nine in our little game here. This one is a difficult one. I'm really proud of the clue. Um, very difficult one. Celebrated individual. Uh, his name is Krishna Pandit Bahanji. Is that his actual given name, or I yes, mean, that is that is his actual given name. His actual given name. This person is award winning, and this person still works to this still day. Works. Okay, that lets Omar Sharif out. That's where I was kind of going there. Uh, you're you're not close, but you're in like. The same universe, maybe the same country, the same nation. Like I don't know. You, you're 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 in a vicinity. Yeah, Krishna, Krishna, what, what, Krishna, Krishna, Pandit Bahanji. <laughs> Would you like a clue, sir? Yes. I'm not going to give you a clue, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> You'll never see me coming. Yes, he will. No, he won't. You'll never see this coming. Oh, uh, now we're getting... Maxwell, don't, 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 don't give it out. Don't give it out. You got it on the tip of your tongue, but don't do it. Do you give up? You'll never see this coming. Yeah, because now I can't place where that's from. You'll never see this coming. No, can't do it. No, Maxwell, come here. Do you know what that's from? Maxwell, no, now I'm giving you permission. Do you know what that's from? Iron Man 3, that's right. That's the Mandarin. And the oh, Mandarin is okay. made by Sir Ben freaking King Kingsley. Yeah. Apparently, like a certain former president, uh, one of his parents was, well, was British, and the other parent was Kenyan. I, I want to see him be the Mandarin. See, I, I've, I've only seen Iron Man 3 once. You know, yeah. so I don't remember all the details of it. That's why I couldn't get that line. Yeah, he he was but, Gandhi. Yeah, yeah, he was Gandhi. Yeah. I I really want to see him be the Mandarin. I want to see the next one. He's the Mandarin. He's just like, Haha, yes, you fell for that shit. 
<laughs> yeah. But yeah, he, he he one of his parents was British, the other parent was Kenyan, and so he had this big long Kenyan name. And when he wanted to be an actor, he said, "Okay, I'm gonna have to British up this name because no one's going to hire Krishna Pandit Bahanji." Then why didn't he stand up for Obama? I mean, couldn't I don't he have stood up and said, "Look, I'm part Kenyan. I've never seen him." Yeah, but just to be just to be clear, I will need Sir Ben Kingsley's. Long form birth certificate. <laughs> yes. Just to be clear, the long form specifically. Yes, Maxwell. Uh, I want to tell Bunny something. You want to tell Bunny something? Okay. What do you want to tell Bunny? Uh, Bunny, does yeah. the thing so the 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 never you will never see me coming thing was uh, was be funny and it was the Mandarin line. Yeah, it was the Mandarin's line from Iron Man Three. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Uh-huh. And the uh-huh, director. That's of, where it was. Yeah, the director of Iron Man Three did "Kiss Kiss Bang Bang," which we did on the podcast because Maxwell. Let me tell you something important. All movies lead to the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. All movies lead to the podcast. Well, if so, you asked me who would have directed it, I would have gotten Shane Black. But what yeah. was his real name? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to move on to number 10 now. We're at number 10. You've been doing very good. I yeah. believe we've only gotten one wrong. So that's, you're, that's you're doing the first great. one. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at number 10. This is a tough one, Bunny. Okay. It's a very tough one. This is a difficult one. This is a nigh impossible one. Better get my game face on. You better get your game face on. Put your game pants on. <laughs> Strap in your game helmet because this one is difficult. Okay? Okay. 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 Orpa Winfrey. Orpa Winfrey. Orpa Winfrey. Yeah. Orpa Winfrey. I know this is a difficult I'm, I'm one. Gonna, I'm going to have to go with. I'm going to have to go with Oprah. You are absolutely right. Oh no! Wait, Courtney Love. It, that was that was Courtney Love. That was Courtney Love. That was Courtney Love. Oh no! I'm reading the wrong one. No, you're right. It is Oprah Winfrey. Uh, she was named after a Bible character. Apparently, I don't remember the story of Oprah. Yeah. But before Oprah came along, no one knew how to spell Oprah. Because she was the first real major Oprah. Yes, so when true. they were writing the birth certificate, they, they spelled it O-R-P-A-H. And so legally, in many circles, her name is still Orpa Winfrey. Because Orpa Winfrey. no one knew how to spell Oprah before Oprah became Oprah, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Orpa Winfrey. Orpa. Orpa, that w- that was challenging because it's too obvious. Yeah, yeah, it's too easy. So, like, I had to justify that that was a name change in my head to yeah. be able to give that answer. <laughs> yeah. So let's move on to number eleven. Uh, this person is a singer. I will give you that. Patricia Andrajewski. Patricia Andrajewski. Okay, I would go with Juice Newton. Uh, no, I will give you a hint. Okay. Uh, this person is young, and apparently, heartache to heartache, she stands. So this is somebody who is currently young. No, 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 no. Maybe she was young when she sang that. That's giving me the Bobby Vinton version. Uh, this person is definitely not young. What's her name now. again? Patricia Andrajewski. Or you could say Pat Andrajewski. Yeah, I was I was running through Pat's Patty Duke. 
No. Uh, I gotta I gotta give up on that one. Uh Pat Benatar. Pat Benatar. Yeah, that's the lyrics from Love is a Battlefield. Bobby Vinton pushed me two back in time. We are young, heartache to heartache, we stand. Uh, Bobby Vinton was uh, blue on blue, heartache and heartache. Will, will you open my popcorn? Because I... These pop-up bowls are a bitch. When I'm at work, I use scissors to cut it open, but... I don't know where scissors are. Nobody knows where scissors are. They're locked. It, it's a bitch. You're supposed to grab it and then just pull it, but it's hard as hell. I thought that was a big pipe. Wow. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I got Emerald to open my popcorn. Ah, so now we know who's more adult. Yes. <laughs> she is definitely more adult than me. Emerald, so now- you're more adultier. Yeah, you're more adult here, Emma. So now we are at number 12. Um, again, I ran this game by a couple of people, and they were blown away by this one. Okay. They were blown away by this one. Carlos Ray. Carlos Ray. Carlos Ray. Yeah, yeah. Carlos Ray. That, why would you change that fucking name? That's my immediate problem here. That's a slick. I, couldn't you see starring Carlos Ray? You know? I don't know how this person got from Carlos Ray to the to the famous person that we now know. Okay. I do have a hint. Hold on a second here. Okay. Because now I'm going through the last people I think Carlos Ray would be. <laughs> uh, this person in no way, shape, or form whatsoever looks like a Carlos Ray. I can tell you that. Carlos Santana. Oh, hell no. Okay. Hell no. That was my best dad. Oh, what's, no. what's the clue? Okay. Carlos Ray's tears cure cancer. Too bad he never cried. That is the clue. That is Carlos Ray. If needed be, I could come up with a million more, but that's the one that I went with. Okay. Carlos Ray's tears cure cancer. Too bad he never cried. Huh? Uh, yeah, uh, I can't. I, again, like Iron Man, I can't place the line either. That's not a line from. That's technically not a line from anything. Do you give up? I'm in the David Avocado Wolf area. Yeah. <sighs> oh, wait. <laughs> Fred Phelps. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good guess, though. It's a really good guess. More famous people. You know, I'm going with actors, actresses, musicians, occasional wrestlers, but No, I don't I don't have this one. <laughs> okay, well this one's gonna blow your mind. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris. Oh, he's an asshole. I would prefer Carlos Ray. You remember all those goddamn Chuck Norris I I guess m- memes. I guess they were memes before memes were a thing. Remember yeah. all those Chuck Norris jokes? Yeah. Yeah. That was literally the first one that popped up on Google when I Googled <laughs> Chuck Norris jokes. Oh, the man. cancer one was the first one that popped up, and I'm like, I'm going with that. Carlos Race, <laughs> tears, cure cancer. 
Man, that is fucking mind blowing. Since he's such a fucking dick. Yeah, but a Carlos though. But like he, it he makes it speak. makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense that if he was Carlo Ray, he would be like, "Fuck that, I'm white." Yeah, yeah. And literally changed his name to something a lot less ethnic. Yeah, I mean Chuck Norris is mm, yeah pretty white. Oh, hell yeah. It's very white sounding. Yeah. yeah. He whiteified himself. Like a motherfucker. I've got four more here. I've got four more here. Yeah. So, number 13. Um, now, again, I'm reading the real name of the person, and you have to give me the celebrity name. Okay. Um, Albert... Einstein. The celebrity name. This guy this game has gotten harder. Yeah. The earlier questions were a lot easier. This one, Albert this one, Einstein. This one we have talked about before on the podcast, just to be clear. Yeah. Just to be clear, just to be clear, just to be clear, just to be clear, just to be clear. So that's already a clue, but I do have a clue here. Well, I don't really recall discussing Ben Stein on the podcast. There. A lot of these, a lot of these real names, part of them have transferred to yeah. their famous name. Patricia Andrzejewski is Pat Benatar. Michael Douglas is Michael Keaton. Love Michelle Harrison is Courtney Love. Yeah. Walter Willis is Bruce Willis. Nick Coppola is Nicolas Cage. Just throwing that out there. Albert Brooks? Very good! Very okay. good. I mentioned that during the Defending Your Life episode. Yeah. That's his real name, Albert Einstein, but he had to change it because apparently there's a famous Albert Einstein out there somewhere. <laughs> And not yeah, for I, being in a movie. Yeah. The clue he, he, was Albert that, Einstein is one of the rarest people for being famous for not being in a movie, not having a song, not doing something stupid on YouTube. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, he's famous just because he's smart. We don't <laughs> we don't allow yeah. many of them in culture. Yeah, no, we do not. No, we do not. <laughs> So, um, number 14, really, really proud of this one. I've been thinking about this a lot the past week. Sheldon Lee. Sheldon Lee. This makes so much sense when, when we get to the end and I tell you the actual famous name. It'll make so much sense. Right now, it might seem confusing, but Sheldon Lee. I'm 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 weighing how ridiculous it might be to say Bruce. <laughs> but, you know, because uh, come on, man. You know, you're in Hong Kong. Your dad really didn't come up with a name as cool as Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's it's Sheldon. I will be the mighty Sheldon in America. You know, you don't know. You come over and you find out it's a dick name. And, you know. Yeah. Oh, Sheldon Lee. Yes. Tommy Lee. No, no. Would you like a guess? Yes. He once tried to do a thing right. That is the guess. He once tried to do a thing right. Yeah. Yeah, he once... Yeah, a right... A right thing. Uh... That has me running down a Dewey Cox 
uh, Alley. Hmm. That sounds Coxian. I feel that if you just got the pieces, if you got the pieces and you put them together, that you should be able to figure this out. You know? Sheldon Lee. And what was the clue again? He tried to do a thing right. Tried to do a thing right. Tried to do the right thing. A thing that was right. You're so close. You're right there. You're right on the edge of it. You just got the pieces and you 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 put them in a ball. No. You just read those pieces. You've got the slivers of it. You know? But if you put it together, you might be able to form a full name. His first name hurts. His first Can't name hurts. Yeah, yeah, it can hurt you. His first name could hurt you. His first name could hurt you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ouch! Yeah. (laughs) Ooh, that's smart. I need a Band-Aid for that. Did it detour through Razor Ramon? No. Maybe. But it's not a wrestler. (laughs) It's not a wrestler. First name. Oh. You're so close. Name. You're so close. The yes, the popcorn is open. Emerald opened it because she's smarter than me. I'm going to have to give it up before I have an aneurysm. All righty. Spike Lee. Oh. You know what? He <laughs> looks like a fucking Sheldon. A lot of times exactly. he acts like a Sheldon. How much sense does it make that a man named Sheldon wanted to go by the name Spike? That makes so much freaking sense. So what's your name, Sheldon? No, I want a, I want a better name like Butch or, or Manly or Spike. I'm Spike now. But he did a low-budget movie. It was on Netflix like really early on in Netflix, and I fucking forget what it's called. But it was a really low budget movie by Spike Lee. It wasn't really so much a movie. About vampires? It was What If the South Won the War. Okay. Yeah. And basically, it's a lot of things. It's comprised of a lot of things that survived the Civil War. Um, and when they eventually disappeared. Things like Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben, stuff like that, but really getting down to the nitty gritty. Now, this is out of context, so forgive me, people. Nigger hair cigarettes. Is that CSA, the Confederate States of America? Because I saw that on Netflix for a while, but I don't think I ever watched it. It might be. It might be. So, So that... That and do the right thing is like the only things I've liked that of Spike Lee. I mean, he. He's been out of the limelight for too long, you know? He's kind of lost his mojo. It's sad, but yeah. it happens. Yeah. You know? You can name a bunch of directors that just aren't good as their early days. Uh. Yeah, yeah reporter, that was that was fucking interesting as hell. Yeah, a reporter once asked him, "Do you think that the character at the end of the film does do the right thing by starting this riot in order to save the pizza guy?" And Spike Lee said, "A black person would never ask that question." And it's like, "Okay, calm down, Sheldon." <laughs> That's a bit of a dick answer. Yeah. Someone's just asking you a, a, you know, a simple question. You don't have to be a dick about it, Sheldon. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm not black. I have to ask the question. Yeah. What's Jesus. the answer? <laughs> yeah. So I got two more left. I got two more left. Um, number 15, Fred Phillips. God, what a lame-ass name. Fred Phillips. Fred Phillips. And that's such a boring name for such an exciting person. Such an exciting, wonderful person. You know, rhinestones and uh, like furry robes, you know, something exciting. But Fred Phillips, that's just lame. That's just lame. Yeah. Uh, Liberace? No, but almost the same sort of style. I've got a clue. It's a short clue. But I think it's a pretty damn good clue. It's not a clue that a lot of people would get, but yeah. I think it's a clue that you would get. Would you like the clue? Watch the clue. Okay, hold on. I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to back a, a lot up. Can I call a lifeline? No, but hold on. I need to, I need to back up pretty far for this. Hold on. Woo! Okay, there's your clue. Ric Flair. There you go. Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah, his real name is Fred Phillips. That's pretty lame. So this is the last one. Uh, number 16. You might get this one right out of the gate. If you don't, I've got a, I've got a clue. There are a million clues I could have given, but this is the one that just that means the most to me, at least in a recent context. But anyway, Maurice Micklewhite. Maurice Micklewhite. Micklewhite with an M. Micklewhite. Maurice Micklewhite. What a, what a weird-ass name, too. Nothing from that translates into the actual name, just to let you know. Yeah. This is a difficult one. You know what? I'm not going to give you a clue. Let's just skip this one. Instead, let's talk about magic. You know, there are, <laughs> there are three steps. Yeah. There are three steps to every magic trick. I forget what the last two are, but the third one, the third step, of course, is called the prestige. You got to say it right. Not the, the prestige. Michael Caine? There you go, Michael Caine. Hey, okay. wow. Yeah, his name is Maurice Micklewhite. I would have kept the Maurice. For some reason, I think it might be Bewitched. I don't know. I, I'm, it's I'm hung fancy. up on the name Maurice. Yeah, it's fancy. Maurice is fancy. Anyway, that's the game. I just wanted to start off this week's episode on a positive note. It's all, it's all about the polls. Because yep. it's obvious our president has no fucking idea what he's doing, and he's bringing in people into the cabinet to literally destroy the U.S. government. The head of the Department of Education is a woman who hates education. Yes. The head of the EPA he ha hates the environment. The head of the DEA has an old VHS player in his house that has an old cassette stuck in it for uh, from a decade or two ago that he just put in there one day to watch and it just got stuck in there. So now the only thing that he's been able to watch for two and a half decades is reefer madness. And it's gotten <laughs> to his head. And then Trump is bringing in extreme nut job Christians to shield him from criticism. Yeah. So we have these crazy ass Christians running all over the fucking white house. Like God, like a goddamn cockroach infestation. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. We've got Christians. We need to spray for Christians. So fuck <laughs> Fuck the president. Fuck politics. Let's have a few fleeting moments of goddamn fun before we're all nuked to kingdom come by North Korea. Or anybody else. At this away. Yeah. Because, because of the inactions of President Dumbass. Now, um... I mean, uh, how, long, how long do you think this goes on before Europe starts saying, you know... Maybe we have to do the preemptive strike. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be amazing if, like, Europe is like, okay, you know, 
uh, the European Union had broken up, but we got back together so that we can uh, stop America. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 